So this video looks at uh, what's called implicit differentiation or differentiation of an e equation that is defined implicitly. Now consider um, the equation of a circle, something like this. So here we don't have a straightforward y equals something of x. We have a combination of the x and the y um, still related to each other in some way. They're combined to make some sort of equation. It's just not defined explicitly as y equals something. Now what you would have done before is you'd have rearranged this into some form to make it y equals something and then differentiate it if you were asked to differentiate that expression. So you could go ahead and do that with the chain rule and it would look something like this. Okay, but we can actually differentiate this without that extra step of having to rearrange it into y equals something. We use implicit differentiation. So with that x squared plus y squared equals 9, we're going to differentiate each of those terms with respect to x. So x squared differentiates to 2x. Now we get a little problem when we get to y squared. We can't differentiate that with respect to x because it's not a term that's defined as um, in terms of x, it's a, it's a y term. What we can do is this. So that y squared, if we try to differentiate it but with respect to y, that would look like this. So we're going to differentiate it just like we would with an x, except we'll differentiate it in terms of y. So we'll do d by dy of that term. Okay. Now, since we've done that, we need to adjust it a little bit because we want to differentiate with respect to x. So if we times it by dy by dx, that would be the same as if that those dy's got cancelled out. So that would be the same as saying our term would then be differentiated with respect to x because it's d by dx of our term once those dy's cancelled out. Okay, so we're going to integrate that. Um, with respect to y and then multiply it by dy by dx to cancel out the fact that we've integrate, sorry, differentiated with respect to y instead of x. So if we do that we get 2y and then you would just multiply it by dy by dx. So put that back in as our term there for our differentiated um, equation. And of course 9 if you differentiate that with respect to x is just 0. So then we can end up, if we need to have this in um, a dy by dx form, we can just rearrange that. So that would be dy by dx is now equal to uh, minus 2x over 2y, just by rearranging that equation. And that simplifies to minus x over y. And if you look at that equation we did the first way around, that's the same. So we had rearranged y equals 9 minus x squared to the power of a half and that would be the same as what we'd got both ways of doing this. Implicit differentiation, once you get into the practice of it, means we can reach that uh, answer faster and, and more cleanly. Okay, so the key here is to differentiate with respect to y, any terms that are y terms, and then multiply them by dy by dx. So let's do some examples. We're going to differentiate these following things with respect to x. So let's start with 4y squared. So differentiate it with respect to y would give us 8y dy by dx. So you've differentiated it with respect to y and then times by dy by dx. Okay, the next one, 3x squared minus 2y cubed. So we're going to differentiate that whole term with respect to x. The first bit, that's simple, we just differentiate it with respect to x. The second term, you differentiate it with respect to y to get 6y cubed, and then times by dy by dx. Okay, now, take this example, we're being asked to find an expression for dy by dx for the following. So we'd actually need to rearrange these into dy by dx equals. So this one... Uh, we This is very similar to part b, but we've got it equal to 1. So if we differentiate that, we get uh, 6x minus 6y squared dy by dx equals 0. Since you differentiate that 1, you get 0. So rearranging that looks like this. So we can say that dy by dx is 6x over 6y squared, which simplifies to x over y squared. We're going to do a similar thing with this one. We are differentiating it to get an um, expression for dy by dx. So differentiate that y cubed and you get 3y squared multiplied by dy by dx. The plus xy, it's a little bit tricky. Um, that is 
just the product rule and you might not have spotted that straight away. So the product rule looks like this. So x times the derivative of y. So if we just got y then it's just dy by dx. Plus y times the derivative of x. So y multiplied by, well if you derive x then you just get 1. And then 2 differentiated is just 0 because it's a constant. So now we are going to work with this equation to make dy by dx. So we'll factorise it out first and then rearrange. Okay, next one, we want to find the gradient of that curve at a particular point. So since we've got those coordinates, we've uh, just worked out what the gradient function would look like. So we need to put our x and y coordinates in like this to get our answer.